You guys smell that? I think the tendies are burning in the oven. And if you don't know what tendies are, it stands for chicken tenders. Uh, it's an inside joke uh, from the subreddit Wall Street Bets, uh, Reddit being the most popular internet forum. You know, when they do well, when they make money on the stock market, you know, they joke and say, hey, uh, we're eating good tonight, boys. We're gonna have all the tendies we want. And the reason I say the tendies are burning is because as with everything that hits mainstream media, I don't think things are as they seem. But Frankie Finance has taken uh, time out of his busy day trading uh, to give you guys brain dead investment advice. You know, if I was actually able to insider trade like these secret society degenerates, I mean, I'd probably be providing half the world with quality food by now, but that's not how it works. And I did want to do a video on the Bitcoin nonsense a few weeks ago, but since this GameStop stuff has hit mainstream news so hard, I figured it was time for me to cover it. Hedge funds, the big boys, bet against GameStop stock, you know, which is like some ancient blockbuster for video games that is basically going out of business by short selling. So they're betting against an obviously failing business, which is a good idea. However, short selling requires you to borrow the stock and then to buy it back. Day traders from that subreddit Wall Street Bets found out that the hedge funds shorted the stock by 140%, more stock than there was. So those retards decided to buy GameStop stock and hold on to it. So the hedge funds borrow a bunch of stock sold it, and then when they had to return the stock they borrowed, were unable to buy it at the lower price they intended to, and they actually couldn't buy it at all because the people on Wall Street Bets were refusing to sell. The idea here is that the little man is beating the big bankers, but in reality, it's just a bunch of insider investors on a subreddit that organize themselves. Uh, that being said, I think this is all fake. It's a bunch of actors, and I'm sure we'll find out very quickly what the end goal was. The elite, which in reality are a bunch of rats, AKA secret society members, basically groups of these well-off people that work together to make money off of everyone else, and the rulers, whatever you wanna call them, do not lose at their own game. Wall Street does not lose ever. Everything in the world, especially investing, especially the stock market, is controlled by these people. Even through natural law, they've told you many times they insider trade. Politicians, celebrities, CEOs, all dumping and buying stocks at the perfect time. They tell you. Yet people are still investing in their corrupt system and they try to beat them at their own game. How is a government worker, a civil servant, Pelosi, buying $1 million worth of Tesla calls? Normally, they just break the rules behind closed doors with stuff like this, but when shit hits the fan, they have to break the rules out in the open, typically with no repercussions. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. You have mainstream media actors like this billionaire crying, pretending like this is all real. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious people can not only see the emotion on your face, but hear it in your voice when you talk about this, Lee. Why? I care. That's it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Now, there's a phone app called Robinhood, which is kind of funny because you know, Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave to the poor, but this app is doing the opposite. Back when the stock market crashed last year, around February, March, the app Robin Hood was coincidentally down for two days, so those people could not sell or buy stock at the most crucial time. Now, that same app is not allowing people to buy or sell certain stocks. It's hiding stocks as well as auto selling certain ones. <laughs> Why would anyone in their right mind use Robinhood after knowing what happened last year? There were hundreds and hundreds of thousands of one star reviews that tanked the app. 
so people wouldn't use it on the store. But Robinhood just pays it off and has all those negative reviews removed. And people didn't know that Robinhood did those things. I mean, this is some insane shit. The stock was $35 two weeks ago and it peaked at 350. These motherfuckers are multiplying their wealth tenfold. Same thing happened with Bitcoin. Bitcoin was 10K up until October and then it shot up to 40,000 in January. Imagine the people who bought it for 4K back in March, sold it at 40K, then bought GameStop at 35, sold at 350. You, you could go from $100,000 to $10 million in the span of two months. Amazon, Zoom, you know, less drastic, but they over doubled in price. Tesla is up 1000% since March. What the fuck is going on? This answers my question as to how all of these secret society degenerates are making it through this. They had insider stock trading tips and just multiplied their wealth more and more than you could imagine. You know, from my perspective, I don't know if Amazon stock is going up or down if they're backed up a month. Why are people using Zoom over other platforms? Tesla sells microwaves on wheels and Elon Musk is a pawn. You know, who the hell would invest in that expensive piece of crap? I would be surprised if they shut down the stock market completely since all of these scumbags cashed out already. You have, you know what going on. You have them talking about the second wave Anyone with logic or common sense is gonna think everything's just gonna go tumbling, tumbling down further and further and further, but it's not. This article from yesterday explains the cheating fairly well. The hedge funds, clearing houses, DTCs, coordinated to put GameStop out of business by creating counterfeit shares of the stock, double or triple the original amount issued by GameStop. That would mean you know the retail investors actually own more than what exists of the company, more than 100%. And there's another page on that website explaining how they can counterfeit stock, which is super duper long, way above my head, but all you need to really understand is that everyone involved in the counterfeiting, AKA you know the elite crooks, make a ton of money. The too long didn't read of the article is that the Wall Street bets retards probably own more of GameStop than they even think, and that's freaking out Wall Street because it could prove they've been up to some very illegal activities and you know the whole system could implode as a result of that. When you understand that these secret society members have been controlling the world for thousands and thousands of years, you know, what's happening now is no different. If you're not in the club, you're going to get fucked. They do the exact opposite of what Robin Hood did. They steal from the poor and give to the rich. There's so much gaslighting, lying, manipulating in the mainstream media and on all of these forums, social media. There are a small percentage of people that have the brains and intelligence to manipulate the market like the secret society members do. It's so disgusting how they bombard the average person with this investment advice. Buy this stock, buy that stock, make sure to get some Bitcoin. Yet they know exactly when it's going to peak, when to dump the stock, when it's going to peak again, just raking in so much money. If you don't have insider tips, or a gigantic ass brain, don't trade stocks, don't buy Bitcoin. It's not an even playing field. You know, who knows? They could blow up GameStop HQ tomorrow. They could do, do whatever they want. They can change the rules. There's all sorts of wacko daco crazy stage stuff going on. And I know for sure 100% this whole thing is staged. Everything you're reading about, everything you're seeing, it's all staged. It's all fake, you know, despite me explaining part of it as if it was truthful, you know, we just don't clearly know what their end goal is, what they are trying to do. Are they trying to pretend like the little man actually has a chance to cover up the insider trading? Are they trying to pretend like the little man is manipulating the stock market so they have to regulate it more? I really don't know. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you can please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week and make sure to check that notification bell so that YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos. Therefore, if you guys can please go to frank-stefano.com, sign up for the newsletter to stay in touch.
Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.